Hello everybody, Jay Toolman 1949 here. I know I have been away for a long, long time, not having been updating anything on my channel here. But that is because I have been so busy with other things, and I apologize for that. There's a lot of little projects that I want to actually do on video here. And once such little project actually came about as a result of my other channel, which is dedicated to printing photographs on professional photo inkjet printers and refilling process for many of the Epson type cartridges I developed a special refilling tip and basically this needed to have some specialized machining done to it mainly a groove cut at a specific depth a specific width so that this could be inserted into the cartridge exit port and ink injected into the cartridge Without this little groove, it would be almost impossible to do so. So I decided to develop a system where I could buy these unmodified tips and then modify them to be able to be used on Epson type printers. And again, you're into machining, but I'm just going to show you how I adapted my miniature table saw, which I use a lot to make my scale miniatures as well as for cutting precisely scale pieces of wood and metal as well i am using machining blades these are the type of blades used for slitting or slot cutting basically they're called screw slot cutting blades or slitting blades and this provides me with a level of accuracy that i need I have the height set to the correct depth, which is kind of a, a proprietary secret for me. I have figured out the correct depth for the best performance for these tips. As you can see, there is no groove cut in them at this time, so they come that way from the manufacturer. They are not meant for what I am actually using them for, but the modification that I apply makes them perfect for the job. The width of the blade, again, is the correct width. And so what I have done is try to center it as well as it possibly can. The width of the blade is actually a little bit narrower than I need it to be. So here's what I do. By hand, I'm going to hold this vertically. And I'm going to drag it across that blade. It is going to be supported underneath. I'm going to go back and forth. And then I'm going to flip it 180 degrees and just do a little cleanup pass and that is all you have to do as you can see it's a perfectly machined slot on that little refilling tip and that is exactly what we need to get the job accomplished as you can see i was able to do this in a matter of seconds with this tool any other method and you would end up with a quite a sloppy job and so this is why I do this and then I am able to sell these to users that need this type of tip for that kind of specialized job. So again, the moral of this whole little demonstration is to use your machining tools. I have my lathe sitting over here, my 7x12 littlemachineshop.com 4100 high torque mini lathe. I use that again for many other types of operations where I need something specialized, I need something to be custom made. And so I rely on both that machine, my mini mill, and this little miniature saw. Now, unfortunately, this saw is no longer being marketed. But you can find them occasionally. Those who are foolish enough to sell their pre saw sometimes will sell them on eBay. But they're very rare. There is a new high-precision saw called the B-Y-R-N-E-S. Burns b-i-r-n-e-s b-y-r-n-e-s i will put a link to the ordering site this originally sold for 600 bucks that new saw is a lot more sophisticated than this one and sells for much less 450 for the basic saw as well as add accessories to it a lot of micrometer type f adjustments for the fence for the miter and so on and so forth very nicely done and at an incredible price and made here in the good old usa as was this saw all right so i will leave you 
for now I promise I will be back I hope to be able to set up my air compressor so I can show you some of my steam projects that I had made in the past and that should be a lot of fun for you guys to watch thank you once again don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time happy machining everybody bye bye